All right, today we're going to be doing a review on the steel BGA 56 electric blower. Uh, this blower is my dad's. He's had this for a few years now. I've been wanting to do a review on this. I uh, finally just got around to doing it. The blower comes with the AK20 battery. Weighs in just at 7 pounds with the battery. Uh, it says max wind velocity on this is 120 mile an hour. Average is 100, but it comes up with 353 CFM at the nozzle. This thing's very lightweight. I like it because it's extremely quiet and it gives off a lot of CFM for the size that it is. It said on the on their website that it'll last about 20 minutes with the AK20 battery, so we're going to put that to the test. That was the only disadvantage to this that my dad really, the only complaint that he had, he wished the battery lasted longer. I think this electric stuff from steel is really going to start taking off. Um, 20 minutes isn't a long time if you're trying to clean up your yard of leaves and stuff, but for the average person, for even me, the only time I really use even my gas blower is to clean off, blow off the tractor when I'm done mowing with it, and the driveway. So 20 minutes is a, is a pretty decent time. One thing I'd like to add, the nice thing with this model with the removable battery, like the push mower review that I did and we own uh, the weed trimmer, they all take this same type of battery, they're just different sizes. So the weed trimmer takes the 10, the push mower takes the 30, they're all interchangeable, it's just the 30 is going to last longer than the 10. So if your battery did go, go dead and you needed to finish up, you could use another one. I'm going to put a link in the description below on this if you want to click on it. It'll show all the specifications and dimensions and all that stuff. What I'm going to do today is I'm just going to take a few different angles of this thing, showing you, you know, blowing off stones of the driveway, dirt, grass, etc. Uh, we don't have a lot of leaves down right now, but it's warm out today and been wanting to do this review. So I'm going to go over in the fence row where there is some leaves down and show you just how well it works there. Then what I'm going to do is put this battery on the charger, completely charge it. I'm going to take a stopwatch and I'm going to run this thing and see exactly how long this thing will run before the battery actually goes dead so that we can time that. And then I'm going to put the battery on the charger and see how long it takes to charge the battery from a completely dead state to fully charge to give you sort of an idea on how this thing is. This blower has definitely enough CFM. I always get all these little number eight stones and gravel that get on the on the concrete from the cars driving on it. And I have to come out here every now and then and blow all this stuff back in the driveway. But this little electric blower, as you're gonna see here, hopefully the camera will pick it up. It has no problem even blowing uh, stone and gravel off the driveway. Not as powerful as my bigger gas blower but this does have a lot of power for the size that it is and for what it is a couple features I do like about these is how quiet they are it's about as loud as a hair dryer it's if you live somewhere where you're in a neighborhood where you don't want to make a lot of noise it's, it's pretty quiet for what it is uh, my dad primarily bought this originally for his RV he always put this in the camper 
and he takes it camping and when he's done he can clean off his camping mats, uh, the campsite. He uses it to help accelerate to start campfires and he used to blow off the top of the slides, that kind of things with it. So there are advantages to electric stuff. It is nice because there's lots of times if you know we haul mulch and stuff in trailers and we go to unload it to blow the trailer out instead of having a, a gas blower tipping over, falling over, leaking gas spilling in your car. He can throw this right in the underbelly of the camper and you don't have to worry about it. It's, it's nice, it's quiet, he just charges up before he goes, charges it when he gets home. So there's definitely some advantages of this electric stuff uh, over gas. Commercial guys, this wouldn't be for you because you're not going to get enough time out of it. That's not what it was uh, designated for. So let me go throw the battery on the charger, get a full charge. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the stopwatch and then I'll let you know what it looks like for time wise and then we'll see how long it takes to charge the battery all right i got the 8k20 at a full charge state i'm going to go ahead and throw it in here and i'm going to turn the stopwatch on the whole time this thing's on and we'll put it to the test and see if we can get 20 minutes out of this I ran it non-stop, uh, timed it when I was running it. See the battery's completely dead, the AK-20 in the blower, and the time we got out of it was 15 minutes and 9 seconds. Now, I know that might not seem like a lot, uh, just like the weed trimmer, but you guys have to think, besides leaf fall cleanup, when would you ever use a blower for more than 15 minutes? I know after I mow and each time each week I probably use my gas job maybe two four minutes max that's all I use it for so I really liked this this is the first chance I've, I've got to use this he's had it for two years now I want you to keep that in mind too this battery is a couple years old so it's had a lot of charges on it so two years of use and you're still getting right around 15 minutes out of it I'd say that's pretty good uh, I'm gonna go pick one of these up come spring I liked it so much one other great benefit to this is that, I'm telling you, it sounds like a hair dryer. So if you live in a neighborhood and you don't want to be real loud, you're up early in the morning doing things, this thing is not loud at all. It was it was fairly quiet, really lightweight, uh, had a good feel to it. The only thing I didn't like was there was no way to uh, lock it in place. You have to hold your finger on it the whole time, which for blowing nonstop 15 minutes, it started to get old. but. Other than that, I, I really enjoyed it. All right, so I'm gonna try to get a leaf video in this fall. That's my main goal on that Steiner sweeper. And I was gonna take my blower to blow all the leaves around trees if I find a property. If you guys wanna see this, I'm, I might ask him to use this one to test this out. If you guys wanna see this in leaves, doing leaves with it, uh, comment below, I'll try to do two videos at one time, maybe the sweeper, and, and try to go more in detail with this blower uh, doing leaves. So let me take the battery out. I'm going to go throw it in the charger, 
and we'll time it and see how long it takes after the AK-20 battery goes fully dead to recharge it. All right, AK-20 battery completely dead for the blower. I'm putting it in charge state, hitting the stopwatch. So we'll let this charge. I'll come back a little bit. And when it starts to blink at the end, I usually just sit around here and wait. And I'm going to try to hit the stopwatch as soon as this thing's fully charged to give you guys a pretty good uh, idea of how long it takes. All right, I've been watching it. I came out, I knew it was getting close. I just hit the timer. So, AK-20 battery in the blower. Now this stopwatch can only go up to an hour, so it lapsed one time. One hour, 20 minutes, and 59 seconds. So, about an hour and 21 minutes to recharge the battery once you use it to completely dead. All right, guys. I really enjoyed using this blower. I really liked it. I thought it worked very well. Like I said, come spring, I'm going to go pick up one of these myself, and I'm going to take it with me, throw it in the camper as well, like my dad does. A uh, nice feature with this is how light it is. It's quiet. And one more thing I wanted to point out. If you wanted to, like if you had a wood shop or you could use this thing indoors, you don't have to worry about fumes. So cleaning out a shop or a building, you know, you could use it in there. So that's some advantages of it, I guess. I hope this video helped and explained a lot of things on this. If anyone was looking into purchasing one of these, I'll see when I do the leaf cleanup. I may try to do another video on this later on. So if you want to see more videos on this in use, and we also have the electric hedge trimmers. I haven't got to this year yet, but I'll go ahead and ask my dad if I can use them. Maybe I'll try to... If I got time this fall, do a review on them. Maybe not show the whole time the batteries go dead, but at least just go over an overview. Should be more videos to come. I got a bunch of accessories for the RB600 pressure washer. So if you, I know a lot of guys want to see more of that. So if you want to keep seeing more reviews like this, just go ahead and subscribe. And I'll try to get some more of these on here when I can. Thanks for watching.